get out the iron throne polish because it's time for another season of Game of Thrones. And in celebration of that, I wanted to do a tutorial for one of the most beautiful characters of GOT, Khaleesi, AKA Daenerys Targaryen, mother of dragons. So if you wanna get a very simplified version of Khaleesi hair and maybe a little makeup that didn't exist back then, keep on watching. The first thing we're gonna do is hair and because you couldn't have a Khaleesi tutorial without doing some kind of braid. I'm going to do two little kind of small braids that meet in the back. I'm not gonna do anything too intricate and difficult because that could be like a two hour long tutorial on its own. So I have kind of like a side bang thing happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of twist my bangs just a little bit to kind of get them over to the area where I want to start the actual braid just to incorporate them, but not braid them. And then I'm just gonna grab a chunk of hair kind of on the side of my head over here and then just start braiding. Now I'm just gonna put a rubber band at the end of this one so it doesn't come undone while we do the other side. Now I'm just going to take the two braids and join them in the back and slip off that original rubber band and then attach it where they meet. Now I'm gonna grab a second chunk a little ways down and braid that. If you have really shiny hair, spray a little texturizing spray for your hair before you start braiding because that'll kind of give it a little bit more grippy hold. And then when you get to the end, put in the rubber band. And now repeat on the other side. Now once again, pull them towards the back and then pull out that original rubber band and attach them. And make sure your first little braid group, the ponytail part kind of falls under the second braid group. Now if you want to have an authentic Daenerys Targaryen hair experience, you would curl your the rest of your bottom hair. I would do this after the braiding just to avoid curling any areas like that you didn't need to curl. It just kind of saves some time. For makeup, the first thing I am going to do are the eyebrows. Khaleesi has beautiful eyebrows. They're very full and thick, but they're very straight across as well. So I am going to try to replicate that. And I'm going to be using a dip brow pomade. Instead of emphasizing my arch like I normally would, I'm gonna try to just keep a straighter shape and also not exaggerate the tail of my eyebrow as much. For eyeshadow, she has almost like a pinky, mauve -y, taupey eye. So I'm gonna use a, a medium brown with like a touch of pink to it and go all the way almost up to my eyebrow. And I'll stop about there and then I'm gonna blend in a second with another color so it doesn't have to look perfect yet. I'm also gonna take that same color and put it on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take a lighter Toby Mauve and just kind of blend that area out. The eyeliner in this look is really minimal, so I'm just going to line my upper waterline with a kind of purpley brown color, almost a plum, if you will. Then I also kind of just dot it on top of my lashes and it kind of fills in any sparseness you might have up there. But then it still doesn't look like you have a ton of eyeliner on. And then just add a nice coat of mascara to the top lashes and then just a touch little tiny smidge on the bottom. We're definitely skipping the bronzer for this look, but we've got to do a pretty healthy dose of blush because she has a very rosy I live outside with dragons cheek. I'm going to use a nice bright pink blush right on the apples of the cheeks. And the final piece is the lip. We are going to do a beautiful kind of pinky nude flushed lip. And now I'm just gonna blot a little bit so you get a nice dose of the color but not any shine or anything that says, I'm wearing lipstick because it's back in dragon times. Okay, our Khaleesi look is complete. So now you can go to all of your Game of Thrones watch parties, drink wine, eat cheese puffs, look at the Instagram of the guy that plays Jon Snow, whatever your thing is. And if you wanna talk about Game of Thrones with me, please feel free to do so in the comments, or you can always tweet me. I'll see you next time.